Hi, welcome back. I hope you had fun exploring with your blankets and singing with Miss Bridie. I hope you had a good time stepping into the shoes of the character of Linus. Oh, I love Linus. He truly is one of my favorite characters. I think I love him best because he is the philosopher of the group. He is someone who, no matter what, is able to find a deeper, hidden meaning to everything. And like me, he is someone who also overanalyzes everything. Everything. And I would consider him kind of a whimsical character, which is perfect because today is... After all, Wild Whimsical Wednesday. You know, for the past several weeks, we have really tried to explore the wonder of words and the power of writing. And we have highlighted the songwriters, the lyricists and composers of these fantastic musicals. So it's important to honor today's lyricist and composer. It is actually the same person, a man named Clark Gesner. And his music adds so much to this piece. But today, today I really wanted to focus on the source material, the comic strips of Charles Schultz. I mean, Charles Schultz is just an amazing artist, illustrator, and storyteller. He was born in 1922, and his whole life he wanted to be an artist and an illustrator. And like his main character, Charlie Brown, he was somebody who was the underdog. He kept trying and trying, but was rejected again and again and again. But finally, after many years, in 1950, his comic strip was picked up by seven papers throughout the United States. And the Peanuts gang, the Peanuts comic strip, Charlie Brown, all of his friends took off. And very soon, that seven papers expanded and his strips were featured nationwide for more than 50 years. Can you imagine writing seven individual strips, weekly strips, every day, every week, for 50 years. And of course, like we said, those characters and the, the content of that script prompted other things as well, like the television specials, the many movies, the recent movies, the Peanut movie that came out a couple years ago, as well as the two Broadway musicals. This writer was able to take these simple stories and put them into a way that people could relate to them. You know, musicals themselves are a fabulous way to tell a story. They tell stories through music and through dance and of course the script itself. But a cartoon, a cartoonist tells a story through an image and through a sequence of blocked events. So if you look at a comic script or even a graphic novel, the story is being condensed into these small segments and it brings that character and those moments to life. And Charles Schultz was just a master of that and inspired so many of our favorite other cartoonists like Jim Davis, who produced Garfield or Bill Waters, who did Calvin and Hobbes, they were both really big fans of Charles Schultz. So today, today your goal is to become an illustrator, to become a cartoonist. So I want you to think of a moment. Now this moment can be fantastical, it can be otherworldly, so maybe it's on a planet with a wild talking alien, or maybe it's about a unicorn or Mrs. or Mom, or maybe it's a very real event of having to eat cereal for the 139th time this year for breakfast. So you decide what the story is, but think of that story, think of what are the images that you would want to show, and then break it down into three little sections, so three boxes. Think of that little idea bubble of what the dialogue is or the thought in the character's head, and then just go at it. You know, it's really fun if you look at the link below, there's one clip of Charles Schultz just drawing. And you see him with just a black marker 
creating these characters. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to think of a character, think of a situation, and segment that moment into three smaller moments and see what you come up with. Now, another way to kind of explore that is this idea of caricature. So you could do a self-portrait or maybe a caricature of somebody else in your family, but a character a caricature is a little bit different than a portrait because a portrait you're trying to draw something realistically so you're really looking at the details and and trying to flesh that out but with a caricature you're looking at a person or you're looking at an animal and you're trying to look at what is the one essential thing about that person and how do I exaggerate it? So if I was going to, for instance, create a caricature of Miss Bridie, I might focus on her wonderfully wild, crazy, curly hair and her big blue eyes. If I was focusing on me, maybe I would just look at my glasses because they seem to kind of overtake my face. And maybe that's what I would use as my starting point. So that's your goal, to write a character comic strip and to create one caricature, either of yourself or somebody in your family. And in addition to that, I really do hope that you are keeping up with your journal and with your sketch journal and your written journal. And if you need suggestions, like every week, there is um, a file below that gives you some wonderful writing prompts and also some great discussion questions. So I hope you have fun exploring that um, in the next couple days. Miss Bridie and I will be back Friday, but before we go, I want to sing our goodbye song. And our goodbye song this week is Happiness. That you're gonna... Hi friends, Miss Bridie here, and I hope that you've been enjoying Wild Whimsical Wednesday, but it is time, as Miss Jody just said, for our goodbye song. We learned it on Monday, and I'm hoping that you remember some of our signs, and we're going to try it with music, okay? So remember, we start with happy. Happiness is. Here we go. Happiness is two kinds of ice cream, knowing a secret, climbing a tree. Happiness is five different crayons, catching a firefly, setting him free. Happiness is singing together when day is through and happiness are those who sing with you hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your wednesday and we will see you for fun fabulous friday bye